Episode 3, Advancement. Now we will look at the time period between 400,000 BC to 100,000 BC. We know that Erectus and various subspecies live together with Heidelbergensis and from it further subspecies. We also know that these live in both Europe, the Middle East, Asia, and Africa. In short, they are everywhere. We also know that these species migrate everywhere and adapt to new environments. This also applies to migration out of Africa, where both Erectus and Heidelbergensis came from. Now, further new species appear, which probably also originally migrated from Africa, namely Neanderthals, and, a little later, their possible cousins, the Denisovans. Denisovans have been found in Asia while Neanderthals have been found all over Europe, at least where there was no ice sheet. These species are incredibly robustly built with short, thick bones, large heads and muscular with body fat storage. They are slightly shorter than modern humans, about 165 centimeters or 5.5 feet, but considerably wider, and their brains are at least as large, and their intelligence has been just as high as modern humans. Therefore, they are also extremely skilled at adapting to the environment, including a cold climate with snow and ice. Due to their high intelligence, comparable to modern humans, they can live just as modern humans would. They build huts, form communities, build boats and sail on the sea, develop and refine tools and weapons, and later they also develop art and culture. Back in Africa, evolution continues and several different species have arisen. One of these species is Homo sapiens, humans. Potentially, Homo sapiens may descend from an as yet unclassified Homo bodoensis, which lived in Africa approximately 500,000 years ago, or maybe from another African variant similar to Heidelbergensis. Small groups of Homo sapiens probably immigrated out of Africa already during this time period, but may not have survived in the long run. The thing is, we don't know for sure when the first human migrations took place, but we do know that large immigration succeeded later, because that is where we all descend from. We also know that Homo sapiens have lived with and mated with Neanderthals and in Asia with Denisovans. This can be proven via DNA traces extracted from both Neanderthals and Denisovans. Unfortunately, we have not yet been able to extract Erectus DNA, so it cannot be proven whether we also carry Erectus genes. But the probability is very high because we know that we have existed at the same time and in the same places as Erectus and others. And with this, episode 3 concludes. The next episode will follow later.